What's up guys, welcome back to PC Outdoors, and uh, this trap, uh, the stuff was all dug up and it wasn't caught, so there was something keeping the pan from tripping, and I got one trap that had a pull out on it, I saw the blood from the animal on the trap, so, makes me really aggravated, if you're a trapper, you can more than like Uh, but y'all probably saw me make this set in another video. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to be posting some more. I'm going to be recording some other videos. Well, I'm not recording them, my mom is. But as you can see right here, I am just putting in some dirt right here. That way the bed is tight because if it's not then the coyote or whatever comes up along do -do 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 -do, steps on it and it walk and this wobbles then it's because all this ground it doesn't wobble it's not that loose so the point is to make this as natural as possible so if this ground doesn't move and for some reason this ground is moving like this tilting and toppling then it will seem not natural and he'll know something's up so he'll investigate because you have to think like if you think that you're like a if you put your mind as a coyote you think that you have a limited amount of time because none of us have infinite time they literally have infinite time they don't have anything to do besides eat and drink like that's like all they think about so they have time Uh, we're just bedding this trap in nice and solid. This is a Duke number two doggos. So we're going to crush on one corner, no budge. Ah, oh, there's some budge on that. I'm sorry about those birds. Aren't doing that good. So, nope, 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 we're good. We've got some heat moss right here. Thank you, Chip, for this paintbrush right here. I'm just going to put some around here so it's not such a small area. Get this color dirty here. Put this over here. Just fill it around. And I'm just going to.
gonna take this brush right here, find our pan again. Just gonna brush this out. Is good for the bag. Now, get this. And I obviously ate the bait out of the hole, and I took the sheep tool right here and drug it back behind me. Yeah, it's all up in that tree. So there was. Based on the sign that I see around it, it was a raccoon, which is probably going to happen quite a bit. I'm just going to kind of take this hole, and this time I'm going to guide more so they don't have to step on my trap if they want to get to the stuff. And if, um, okay, so. Is that dog? I'm going to take this wrapper since it has to stuff on it and just throw it down there. This stuff is nasty. Right here. So now that scent is on there, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to kind of fluff that out. one right there. Take. See, I like doing like 95% of my set. So first, take this coyote ear and shove that down. Um, and then take all of my sets. You'll almost never catch me not doing this out of set. Take that same stick that we had our other one, and just put some coyote gland on it. That doesn't hurt anything. I believe that with like regular like food lure, oh, you can over lure. But I believe like with like urine and gland and stuff, you can never overdo it because like it's not going to be the same exact amount for the thing so like if a coyote is coming by and peeing he's not going to pee exactly a teaspoon and a half of coyote urine every time but that's the finished set well i'm actually going to take this uh take this right here and just kind of throw it like that I'm just going to take it like so.
I really like this cedar because I can rub my bait on it, my bait fork, and it gets the bait off, and it doesn't make it stink so bad because cedar smells really good. It smells <laughs> natural. <laughs> it smells natural, but it smells really good. Oh. But I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to... Where's my... they're coming down here, I want them to see this and like notice. You don't have to do this. I'm just extra and I don't have very many traps. So it's like if I have to make the ones I have count and I make, I want to make it look like something was digging right here. And I also want to use these to guide. So like I put one up here, one right there. Right there, a couple right there, maybe right there, go here, do one over here, do some right here, uh, some right there. So it's like the best place if a coyote was to come up, you would want to step right where the pain is. So I'm just gonna take this and make it look like something was digging around here. We're on a trail, so if they're coming through here, they're wanting to go somewhere. We really want this to pick up their attention. Alright, that's good. Y'all like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.